Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the question, what is a lemma? Now, a lemma is a term in formal logic, also in mathematics. Lemas are the intermediate propositions which follow from your initially assumed premises or axioms, and which are used to prove your final theorem or conclusion. So they're the things in between your axioms and your conclusion or theorems. The difference between a lemma and a theorem or conclusion is somewhat subjective because it depends on what you're trying to prove. One person's theorem may be another person's lemma on the way to another theorem. Lemas are the steps on the way to your final conclusion. They're kind of how you show your work in logic. Lemas can be useful when you have multiple conclusions that require the same initial steps, because you only need to show the proof of that intermediate lemma once. So if I need to prove all the way down to a particular generalized conclusion at one point that isn't necessarily the final thing that I want to prove, but I have to get there over and over again to show all of these other things, I could consider that a lemma used in a lot of different proofs. So to understand this, we'll take some oversimplified examples that show us some axioms, postulates, or premises, things we might assume at the beginning of an argument, the lemas that we use to get from our assumptions to our conclusions, and the theorem or final conclusion we have. So one example might be we have a plus b equals c, d plus b equals c, thinking in mathematics and arithmetic, not logic right now. We could have some lemas such as, well, because they both equal c, we can set them equal to each other. So we get the lemma a plus b equals d plus b, and then we can subtract b from both sides, a plus b minus b equals d plus b minus b. And so we can conclude what we were trying to conclude all along, which is that a equals d. The point of those lemas is to be the intermediate steps. They're not something we assumed, and they weren't what we were trying to prove at the end. They were the intermediate premises that we worked through to get to the conclusion. So in something that looks more like logic, we have premise 1, P, or Q, premise 2, Q implies R, premise 3, not R. We can have a lemma, an intermediate step, premise 4, not Q, from premise 2, premise 3, modus tollens and use that to prove what we were trying to prove all along, not P from 1, 4 disjunctive syllogism. If you look at some of the kind of longer proofs I do in some of the logic series, you will see things that clearly stand out much more as lemas, as kind of much more generalized statements where we've pulled out of a universal generalization and have for all x this general statement, and we use that over and over again throughout the proof. That's something that looks more like a lemma, though all of those individual steps could technically be considered lemas because they're going to be used later in the proof. They're not something we assume, and they're not our final conclusion. We could also have an argument, Sam is taller than Abdu, Kim is shorter than Abdu, Kim is taller than Sarjo. We'd take a lemma of Sarjo is shorter than Abdu to conclude our eventual conclusion of Sarjo is shorter than Sam. So once again, lemas are the intermediate steps that are showing your work of logic. Now, lemas are also used in epistemology to define intermediate steps in a chain of reasoning. Lemas are the steps you take when you are thinking through a problem between your assumptions and your conclusion. Gilbert Harmon attempts to avoid the Gettier problem by claiming that justified reasoning can have no false lemas. Check out my video on the defense of the Gettier problem for more on that debate. If you want to see many, many lemas in action, check out my series on logic, the 100 Days of Logic, 3 Months of Modal Logic, and our ongoing series, 6 Months of Set Theory, where we have hundreds and hundreds of lemas for you to check out. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.